This is Dakota. He fell in love with Blair. I love you. I love you too. As a transgender couple, they have both been subjected to harsh judgment. Some people have used our transness against us. We get messages online a lot, of people saying things, calling me a, a bunch of names and, you know, calling Blair names. But it's not just strangers that have been their harshest critics. My mom, she was, what you're doing is a sin. You're telling God that he made a mistake. You're gonna go to hell. I am an existing human being doing what I need to do to exist and be happy just as you are, but you're saying what I'm doing is wrong. You've denied who I am as a person. That's not okay. Can the couple find happiness in a world that has been so quick to judge them? One and a half, no, half cup melted butter. I think we've been baking together for a really long time, probably since when we first started dating. Yeah. What was your first date? <laughs> January 19th, 2018. And we went to Tio Pepe's, which is a Italian restaurant in Baltimore. On the way over there, I was like trying to work up the nerve to ask her to be my girlfriend and I was just super nervous and so the whole time I was like fumbling over my words. I was like, so, um, I think you're really pretty and uh, you know, I like you and I was just wondering if you would, she's like, yes, yes, I will be your girlfriend, so. Been kicking it off ever since, I guess. With both parties happily on board, Blair and Dakota have now been a couple for over two years. I saw Blair first on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, she is so beautiful. I have to know who she is. And so I uh, it, like clicked on her profile and followed her. So yeah, it was this, this picture literally blew my mind. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This picture, this is the first picture I saw of him. Oh my God, I had just shaved my head again. I was two months into my transition, like I looked like a toe and for whatever, she thought I was cute. She looked like that and I looked like that. So I don't, I don't know how this happened, but I'm very thankful for it. Well, I think you're pretty good looking. I think I've always had an interest in makeup. I went to like my mom's makeup when I was little all the time. I was, 16 years old when I came out as trans and I started um, hormone replacement therapy at 18 and I've been on that ever since so seven, seven years. years this summer my family was really supportive when I came out I would say the hardest part is probably being okay with yourself because there is a lot of internal and external things that are telling you that what you're doing and who you are is not normal and um, it's just a lot of internalized transphobia So I like push up and kind of go around. I have created kind of like a, it's not perfect, but it's enough to make me feel better about myself. I transitioned a little bit later. Um, I came out as trans masculine the summer of 2017. It's just kind of like a breaking moment where I I was like, this, I, uh, this has to stop, this has to stop. I cannot keep living my life this way. Like I am so unhappy, I'm so miserable. I am so sick of living my life for everybody else. I, I have to do this now. I've been on tea for almost two years, collectively, I would say. I don't like hate that I have to do this. I kind of, I always feel much better after the shot's done. A Little bit. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You're doing really good. A little bit of bleeding, but I'll be okay. So once it's done, I'm like, wow, I, I did that. I, I can do it again, I'll, I'll be fine. As individuals and as a couple, they have both had to contend with judgment for being trans. Some people have used our transness against us. 
So it's constantly just being aware like, okay, if I have to be in public, am I going to fill in my beard? Am I gonna pack? Am I gonna bind? What does my voice sound like? Like I try not to wear my glasses because I think my glasses make me look very feminine. I try to never go to the bathroom out in public. And I would say that Blair probably thinks about the same things or similar things. Definitely. Like almost all of the things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People have followed us a little bit or we get messages online a lot of people saying things calling me a, a bunch of names and you know calling Blair names even being in a heteronormative presenting relationship it still feels not safe but so far one of their harshest critics has been someone much closer to home I come from a very conservative Christian background and you know, first told my mom. She didn't handle that news very well. She was, what you're doing is a sin. You're telling God that he made a mistake. You're gonna go to hell. Definitely tried to give her time and space. Then when I met Blair, she was like, you will never be a man. Blair will never be a woman. I do not support this. I think what you're doing is wrong and I don't wanna be associated with it. One of their excuses has been like, love the sin or hate the sin sort of thing. Or like, I love you. I just don't love what you're doing. If my mom ever sees this video, I don't want her to see it and only hear like how angry and sad I am at her, but to also hear like, I know that you went through a lot of things and I know that this might be hard for you and all I'm asking is that you try with me. I hope one day we can have a relationship. It smells very maple-y, oh my God. Despite Dakota feeling like he's lacking the acceptance he wants from his mom, the couple remain strong in their love for one another and soon, they'll be taking their relationship on a new journey. I knew I was gonna marry Blair as soon as I met her, like when I saw her in person. Um, I mean, I knew that I would spend the rest of my life with her. Um, so it was definitely a surprise. The engagement was really sweet. There's a picture of me like crying. I mean, and I'm like weeping in this <laughs> picture, like holding this ring up to her and she's just got this like silly grin on her face. And you put it on the wrong hand too. Oh my gosh, I put it on the wrong hand. Yeah. These need more time. They're straight dough. <laughs> They're so doughy in the middle. No, that one's okay. That one's okay. It is very doughy. They are very doughy. In a bad way? Well, first of all, it's not a lifestyle. It's not something that I chose. Nobody chooses in their right mind to go through the kind of like mental turmoil or societal turmoil just for kicks and giggles. Nobody's gonna choose this life when an entire religion claims that I don't exist, it's not like a, you're wrong and I'm right. I am an existing human being doing what I need to do to exist and be happy. Just as you are, you've denied who I am as a person and that's not okay. I have, I have never met somebody who has such open arms as Blair. And it's absolutely like enthralling to be around somebody who doesn't make me feel any shame about anything. I love you. I love you too. So we're super gay and uh, we talk a lot. Welcome to our crib. Honestly, that should be the whole video. Yeah, let's just, just cut everything yeah. out. Yeah. Hi, we're Blair and Dakota and we're gay and we talk a lot. Perfect. And, and we're getting hit. Scene.